Hola a todos. Me llamo Carmen y soy Developer Educator and Directors. No se preocupen, la configuración de su televisor no está mal. Les estoy hablando en español solo por la intro, pero encontrarán subtítulos justo aquí. ¿Pero por qué español? Pues porque esto es Translation Station, el programa sobre localización y traducciones usando Directors. En este episodio, les mostraré cómo cambiar el idioma de su proyecto, dónde se encuentran las traducciones dentro de la aplicación y cómo contribuir con sus propias traducciones. Prepárense, porque la próxima parada es Translation Station. All right, back to English. So, here we've got a director's project that I'm running for my blog. And, yeah, just one blog post for now. We'll be filling it up with time. But I wanted to show you in the Data Studio the collections I've got. I've got some authors, I've got some languages, and I've got some posts. So, as you can see, my computer's default language is English. Now, my directest project is also running by default in English. But what if I want to make it available in another language? What I can do is go over to the settings module and then the settings page itself where, amongst other settings, I'm going to find the default language. I'm going to open this up and show you just how many languages we have available here. And not just languages, but languages specific to a region. So, I'm going to scroll down, being Chilean myself, I'm going to set my language to Latin American Spanish. Chile's there too, but I want to encompass all of this continent. Click on that, and I'm going to save my changes. You can see now that a bunch of things have changed already. I'm in the setting in the ajustes modules instead of settings, and so on and so forth. What's really key to know here is the directus project language has now changed. But what happens to the rest of our things? For example, in our data model, or modelo de datos, we're going to see that the names of our collections haven't changed. Or, if we go to content, or contenido as it is now, we're going to see that my blog post stays the same, even the fields on the blog post themselves. But that's to be expected because our project is now in Spanish, but the content itself and the data model are still in English, because that's how it was when I created it. But what I want to focus on here is the language of the Directus project itself. Let's go back to our settings module real quick. You might be wondering, where do the translations for these come from and how can I change or contribute to them? Now, given that Directus is open source under the BSL license, we actually get these translations as open source contributions. That's right. You can contribute your own translations to Directus. Next, I'm going to show you how to do that. Over in the Directus documentation, under Resources, Community, and Contribution Translations, we're going to find the instructions for how to contribute localizations to the Directus Data Studio. And this is done by a platform called Crowdin. So over in Crowdin, we can see there's a bunch of translations that exist, which I love to see. Got Catalan, Dutch, Finnish, Estonian, and a whole bunch of other languages. So, how can I contribute to a language, say, if I find a typo? First thing I need to do is log into Crowded, which is via a free account. Now that I'm logged in, I can go ahead and look for my language and start contributing to it. For example, let's look for Spanish and specifically focus on that Spanish Latin America. Now, on this page, I'm going to click on Translate All. This will give me a list of all of the strings or pieces of text that can be translated in Directus. Now, here, under Editing Preset, I can see the string Editar Predefinido. But because this is in the current test we're currently editing, it should actually be Editando Predefinido. So what I'm going to do is make that suggestion and save it. But because there's already an approved translation, what I'm going to do is notify a proofreader. Cool. 
So now my suggestion is made to improve this Latin American Spanish translation of Direct Us. But what happens next? So our team over at Direct Us is going to get a pull request from Crowden with the change that I've made. Now you might be thinking, well, why don't I just make the pull request if it's open source? Bear in mind that Crowden's automatic synchronization is going to overwrite any changes that don't correspond with Crowden itself. So it's best to make those translations directly through Crowden. Now, the last question is, when am I going to get that new string? It'll be merged into Directus itself and will be available in the next release. So now we just got to sit tight. All right, well, there you have it. How to configure your Directus project in another language, which strings are translated directly, and how to contribute your own translations to the greater Directus ecosystem. I hope this was helpful. But there's more stops on this translation station journey we're going on. We'll also be learning about translation strings, translating content in the Data Studio, and accessing translated content in your own application. So, all aboard for the next station, and off we go. See you next time.